Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube page. Today, I am drawing this beautiful outfit on this beautiful lady. And um, it's going to be a nice day. It's going to be a nice drawing. I'm very excited. As you can see, I've started out with the base layers first. Um, there's the left leg which is its own layer. There's the right leg, the right arm, the left arm. From the chest up to the tip of the head is another layer. The, um, the underwear and also the top. These are all different layers. I like doing different layers just because for me it's more, it's like it's easier, it's more convenient. You know, just go in there and just like blend or smudge without having to worry about all the parts getting messed up. You know, the more layer, the more convenient. That word, huh? Convenient. The more convenient it is. For me, at least. I mean, I've seen videos of people drawing and their view is like two layers. I'm like, how can you create this masterpiece with only two layers? I do apologize if you hear like an echo or like cars outside. I mean, I do live in LA, so it gets really loud, like very loud sometimes. Well, most of the times, especially in the daytime, especially when you're working, you know, have you ever, this is like a totally different subject. But it's sort of like related. Have you ever been like outside when it's raining? And as soon as you literally walk into the rain, it stops. And as soon as you get to where you're going, it starts raining again. I mean, that happened to me quite a few times, but I don't know. I don't know why. Why did I bring that up? I don't know. So now I am smudging the eyes. And it is, it's sort of like, there you go. It is very dark. Can't really see it that well, or else I like zoom in, but you get the idea. And make sure you put like a lot of shadows on the face. I do believe the more shadow, the more tones you have, the better it looks, the more realistic it looks to me. Haha, <laughs> my name. <laughs> and yeah, there you go, the hair. I love drawing hair. It's for me, it's fun. As you can tell, look around the edges. It looks like that because of the layer underneath. And uh, on top of that is the clipping mask. So it has a feeling of it being cut out from a, a magazine. So, I mean, if you do like that sort of like art form or technique or, I mean, some people like it like that. Sometimes I do have my art where I just like, I just draw it and then put a clipping mask on top and then just leave it like that and it looks like it's been cut out from somewhere. But as you can see now, I'm adding the flyaway hair. I love adding flyaway hair. <laughs> I love drawing flyaway hair. I don't know, it just feels, it feels free. It feels... Like you're just doing random things. I don't know. It might just be weird. It might just be me. I might just be the only one who likes to draw flyaway hair. I mean, if you do, if you like drawing flyaway hair, then, you know, just go ahead and leave a comment below. Flyaway hair. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, oh, I'm going to yeah, stop so my random good. rambling now and let this video just take you away i don't know 
Am I singing? <laughs> you can't. You can't. <laughs> wow, I just sang. Okay. Um, yeah. Where am I on this video? Where? Yeah, it's been real hot outside. Man, this summer has been a really... <gasps> Underwear. Wow. I mean, it's been so so hot i went to the beach the other day and um i took off my shoes actually i took off my sandals and um i was wearing some socks i didn't take my socks off i just had my socks and my sandals on the beach you might ask who wears socks in their sandals on the beach well, I do. Yes, I do. I wear my socks in my shoes or sandals or sneakers. I don't really like wearing sneakers. But yeah, my socks in my sandals. I don't really like wearing sandals either. But yeah, my socks in my shoe on the beach. Who does that? Well, do you want to know why I did that? I did that because it was way, way too hot to walk barefoot. I can't walk barefoot on the sand when it's a hundred and like a hundred degrees or a hundred and five. Or even 90. Or even like 85. I mean, 85 is not that hot. But on the beach, yeah. It, it feels like 110. Oh, yeah. There you go. So, there you go. You can see the three pictures next to each other. Flip through the layers. So, you guys, tell me, like, what do you... What do you wear when you go to the beach? Like, do you wear sandals? Do you wear socks? Do you wear sneakers? Do you wear barefoot? Or do you not go to the beach? But regardless, I want to know, like, how do you dress? Pinch and color match. And a way for your art to look, I would say, more real is different values i like using at least seven values seven main values when i first started drawing i was like i was ashamed of my art <laughs> i didn't show it to anyone but then my friends they would come to my house and they would like in the living room and they would see my art and they would say who did that and i'm like um well i did it and they're like wow it looks really good and i'm like what looks really good my art looks really good. They're like yeah it looks really good man you did a good job and i'm sitting there saying to myself this art it looks like something that would make me throw up but anyways they were asking me like how did you get into art man how did you start doing this great they call it great this greatness like greatness Well, I I think I'll make a, another video of how I got into art. How did I start drawing? I'll make a video, a separate video. Or should I make a video on that? Tell me if you want to hear me talk about my story of 
how I started drawing. I love to hear people's stories. Some have been drawing since they were like two. Some people just started drawing a couple of months ago, some a year ago. But I want to know your story. How long have you been drawing? Why did you start? And how do you feel now? As a professional artist or amateur or a hobbyist, like a hobbyist artist, like you just, you know, you're not pressed for time and you don't have a deadline. You just grab your iPad and your Apple Pencil and you just go at it. No. Let your imagination run wild. This bracelet reminds me of marbles. My brother and you know friends we used to play marbles <laughs> fun days that reminds me of this show i was watching on netflix called squid game and they were playing marbles pretty much the same ones that we used to play huh that was pretty interesting but yeah do you like watching squid game i can't wait for season two I know it's probably not going to be the same as season one. Nothing ever really is. But hopefully there's a surprise and um, we will be surprised. (laughs) Hopefully we will be even more surprised. That's a really great show though. So yeah. So you have been drawing with colored pencils for a number of years now i've used graphite pencils i've used charcoal i've used oil paint water paint and i've recently started doing digital and for me it's I don't know, it's, I like digital more than all the, the other ones because it's faster. It's not just faster, it's it's more convenient. It's not just more convenient, it's more fulfilling. It's not just more fulfilling, it's, it's amazing. It's not just amazing, it's, it's wonderful. It's not just wonderful, it's it's impeccable. It's not just impeccable, you know, it's everything. Just go ahead and smudge. Smudging. I love to smudge. And it is almost. It's almost finished. It's almost to the end. Going ahead and grab my studio pen. That's my name. And so far, I could go ahead and spend another 20 hours on this. I mean, it's never finished. Sometimes I look back and I'm like, hmm. Uh, I didn't really like that part of it, or I could change this part, or, uh, oh, 
I could redo it over again. There are way too many things to draw to focus on perfecting one thing. As long as it's it looks suitable to my eyes, then mm. I'm okay with it. Keyword suitable or pleasing. And so far, this art looks pleasing and suitable. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you subscribe, comment, and share this video, and I will see you on my next. Take care.